Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Joost Appelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on a video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. This week we have the honor of hosting two of the youngest and most adorable girls in the Fountain Pen community. Little Pen Girl and Inky Art Girl are sisters living in Australia and sharing their love for the pens through their YouTube channels. If you want a refreshing perspective on fountain pens, make sure to subscribe. As a special treat for our viewers, the grills will actually show their faces on camera instead of their hands. And if you want to know how they add pens to their collections, make sure to keep watching until the end of the video. So let's have a look at the top three pens of Little Pen Grill and Inky Art Grill. Hi, I'm Zoe, also known as Little Pen Girl, and I'm Mariah, also known as Inky Art Girl. Apple Room has invited us to their top three pen series, and we usually don't show our faces, um, usually you just see our hands, um, but today we thought that it was a special occasion, so we decided to show our face. A bit different. <laughs> so, so we're just going to jump um, straight in to uh, the pens. This is my third favourite pen. It is a, pe a Kaweco Pekeo in Cotton Candy. Peter from Ink Pens sent me this. And I like it because it writes smoothly. And, and it just writes really smooth. And I like it because it has flat edges so it does not roll off like one of my other pens i'm gonna spoil it but um it doesn't roll off if i go if i went this yeah it would but it wouldn't roll as much if i did that to another pen but yeah i really like it and yeah it's good for school mm -hmm. yeah um so my third favorite pen is the pilot kakuno um it's got a medium nib and it's got a little smiley face on the nib. Classy. And the reason why it is my favourite pen, well my third favourite pen, is because um, I use it for, for a lot of schoolwork. So that includes just projects um, and just basic schoolwork and I also use it for other things. I have another one at school which is got a purple cap and a white barrel um, but this one has got a pink cap and a black grey barrel. I have a light pink one with a um, white barrel again. Um, and my mum gave this one to me so yeah. Shout out to mum. <laughs> my second favourite pen is this one. You have never seen this pen in a video because this pen was sent to me by Robert Oster. The ink in there is Robert Oster made me and my sister our own ink and I put it in this pen because he also sent me and my sister the same pen and it's really pretty. It's like a purpley colour. Don't open it, don't open it. Um, this is an eye dropper pen and basically how you fill it is you just kind of get like a, a pipette which comes with it and you pull it you put it into your ink and you skip some up and then you just pour it straight into the barrel. Straight in. <laughs> so yeah, that's and I like it because it was sent to me by Dan. And um he got inspiration of the ink from my portrait. And I didn't like weird. <laughs> from the mystery challenge. So if you haven't seen that, go look at it. And I have the ink. Um, my second favourite pen is the Swan pen from Jin Hao. We used to have a set of these, but this is the only surviving one because all of them broke. And um, the reason why it's my second favourite pen is because it was my very first fountain pen I ever got. And that just makes it really special to me. It has a um, Swan cap um, with like a little swan in it, so I think that's super cool. My first favourite pen is, come on please, <laughs> is a unicorn poop and this was sent to me by Kim and it has a medium nib and it has nice designs on it and I like it because 
um, Kim actually is one of my Instagram um, and YouTube subscribers. Um, she sent this to me because saying congratulations for my YouTube channel. And I also got another one called Emerald City. If you haven't watched that video, you can go watch it now. Go watch it now. <laughs> no, after this video. Yeah, I'll after watch it. this. <laughs> and it has diamond dust in it. And it's like kind of swirly. And it's really pretty. So, yeah, I love this. And it's my first one pen. So, my top number one pen that I use a lot is... The Twisby Go, and the reason why it's my number one favorite is because I use this a lot in everyday life. I just use not, it. Not, not when you brush your teeth. True that. <laughs> so I just use this. A oh, when you bake, I knew you to do it. Okay, we get it. <laughs> the reason why I love this pen so much is because um, I use it a lot um, for school. Um, for not brushing my teeth or <laughs> baking. Um, I use it a lot and it's a demonstrator pen so you can see like how where the ink is and how much ink you have left and how it works. Also, this is a vac filler pen so I can't really demonstrate except I don't have any ink and B, if I push it down, all the ink is going to come flooding out of the nib. Um, so it's a vac filler so what you do is you push the little stone a little spring down and it like fills up it sucks up all the ink from like the little hole in the nib or something I and it's know. easy to empty yes it's easy to empty um yeah and my mum also gave this one to me my mum gives me a lot of well my mum well our mum gives <laughs> us a lot of the fountain pens we own or sometimes we just steal them no we don't steal we take them okay anyways so yeah that's my number one pen thank you apple boom for inviting us to be in the series we when our mum told us we were very 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 excited you get the gist um so make sure to go follow our instagram and youtube at little pen girl and inky art girl um so we hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching